Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here, We Daily Vlog. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back every day. Do you ever have one of those work days that was just like super nonstop? Because that's what I'm having. It's already two, and I kind of have. It was one of those like bittersweet days of like one step forward, two steps back. I've been working all week to like get ready for paternity leave because I'm going to take two weeks off. And I just found out we're getting a whole different project pretty much pushed on with a due date by the end of the year. The rest of my year just got busy in multiple ways. But I'm just chugging along with work, and Sarah had a doctor's appointment today, and so she's resting. Um, I'll let her give an update later. I don't know if she vlogged it or not. But welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Oh, this puppy just woke up, and what did she wake up from? The noise of ruffling chips and a sleepy Sarah. I could sleep all day. I'm a sleepy person. Yeah. I was actually talking to my nurse today, and I was like, I've had no trouble sleeping in pregnancy, and she's like, are you kidding? Like, she was like, I want my next pregnancy to be like yours. So I have uh, the long way down. On, and they're driving through Africa and they're actually talking a lot about Rwandan coffee growers and tourism and and plant plant coffee growers which is crazy because today is National Coffee Day which is great because I've actually had a, quite a lot of coffee today so I did not vlog at all um, at my doctor's appointment I was there for two hours and it was just a really quick visit. Evie just joined me in here. Um, it's raining pretty bad if you can hear that. Um, but basically I got a little bit more information on our plan. So he still has not flipped. Um, and I'll have a checkup every week now. But in two weeks at 38 weeks I'm going to have another ultrasound just to get like a really good look at him um, and see his position. And in the next couple of days, I'll probably get a call about scheduling the C-section just in case at like between 39 and 40 weeks. Um, the hospital like will determine what the date is, but it will be before 40 weeks because a baby who hasn't flipped, um, like say I like went into labor and he still hadn't flipped, that's when an emergency c-section has to happen and things get a little bit more dangerous whereas our plan is to just have it scheduled it'll be my doctor um, basically as controlled and safe as possible so we really only want me to go into labor naturally if he is flipped um, today I just had a swab test for anybody um, who's aware of you know the different things that happen during pregnancy you know what that's about or you can google it I won't go into details but basically that's to check to make sure that I don't have any infections because if I were to um, you know give birth to James naturally if I had an infection they don't want him to get it they don't want if there's an infection in my um, water for it to spread that way so that was today's test and I think that's it. I did learn that I will have to wear a mask um, during labor and I will get tested for COVID upon arrival. It, they get results in like an hour. Peter does not get tested, but he just has to wear a mask. Um, but then when we have moments where it's just us in our room, we'll be able to take our masks off. But we will, you know, when interacting with others. Also like once I get a negative test, they'll be a little bit more free with me wearing the mask because they, they'll they know that I don't have it. Um, so yeah, that was the big bit of information today. Um, and now I go in every single week. Um, next week will just be a checkup. The following week will be the ultrasound. And really the next week will potentially be the C-section. So truly, truly at the end of the road, my doctor suggested that we have a bag packed, not even like, not necessarily like a full bag, but just something in the event that we would have to go at a very moment's notice. Um, so yeah, more, more prepping, more planning. We're almost there. 
What? You're entranced by these people. <laughs> he loves the Steve McGregor show. Um, really quick, can you believe that tomorrow I'll be 36? I can. Yeah. And really, we don't even have the full four weeks, most likely. Most likely, yeah. That's wild. Um, look how dark and cozy it is because of the afternoon storm. It's four o'clock. <laughs> it looks like it's eight. I'm going to show you guys the super simple dinner I'm making. I feel like I haven't cooked in weeks. Um, but I'm doing like a pineapple veggie bake. So there's pineapple, a full onion, a red pepper, a green pepper, a zucchini, and a tomato. So I'm going to dump the rest of this. Uh, maybe not all of it. Um, majority of this pineapple juice on top. Put some soy sauce, some crushed red pepper, minced garlic, some ginger. Um, and then I'm just going to bake that at 450 for like a half hour. I have some spaghetti noodles going. I'm not going to do a total Ohana noodle copycat, but kind of like that style of noodle. And then maybe a salad? Absolute delicious. Actually, the salad. Delicious. Absolute. From I want peanut noodles instead of Ohana noodles. I like peanut noodles more than Ohana noodles. It is. Oh gosh, this is stunning. I feel like, and let us know if this is one malarkey in, from your life perspective, or two, if you've experienced this yourself. I feel like Sarah and I are like, I'm just going to go ahead and say it's a four day, and it gives us leeway of like maybe one more day, of like this feeling of not wanting to do anything, even though we have <laughs> so much to do. <laughs> We have lists. We were we have... productive yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I almost feel like if I'm productive one day, then the next day I can't be. But we need to be like productive, 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 productive. And enjoying ourselves. Yeah. This is what happened. We had every intention on going on to Hollywood Studios today. And then we ate dinner like a little bit later than expected. I worked right up to five. Right. And then because of the park hours... We can't go because well, there's not... And then we heard the news. Yes. Terrible news that... I got many feelings and opinions on it, but Disney announced that officially they're going to let go 28,000 cast members. Yeah. And so and then, then that we, kind of just like put us at a halt. Because we have lots of cast member friends that you do and don't know about on mm -hmm. both coasts. And I got some surprising text messages from friends out west, from friends out east here. But um, yeah, like that's not really our story to no, share because no. we aren't in that position. No. But that news did like we've been put like a talking to, to friends, day. yeah. Because that happened literally at, like five. Yeah, and so I don't like I oh I like feel this like push and pull of, like wanting to go to bed, wanting to be productive, <laughs> wanting to have fun. <laughs> so we're gonna go right now to the PO box just to get out and get some fresh air to go on a drive. Just jam in the car a little bit, maybe waking up. There's also a Whole Foods right by our PO box. Maybe I can convince this chick to get some ice cream or something. Something, and then and then we're gonna finish the night up hopefully on a good note where we're taking a risk because you guys know by now our political views and things mm -hmm. and we're gonna watch the debate tonight at nine o'clock our time it's an hour and a half and i'm assuming it's gonna be so ridiculous maybe we may want to turn it off after three to five minutes yeah so we'll see how so maybe goes. we'll get some ice cream to watch the uh the debate debate and i'm not running because we have a surprise this weekend that we haven't told you about i'm running the next three days but we're not telling you the surprise because we're gonna be like those people <laughs> okay, this is how far Sarah parked. I parked in the lines at least. <laughs> he parked in the lines, but he left a solid four feet, three and a half feet up into the bumper. Oh gosh. <laughs> Who is this creepy man? <laughs> I meant to do a cool transition on our drive over here, but Ooh. we were just talking too much. This is the next time I've been ranting and raving. This is the second time a package has been addressed to James. Can I open Ooh, it? Yes. Okay, I think that's super cute. Dear James, I hope that you enjoy my favorite book, your friend Olivia, Emma, and James and Megan too from the Emma family. Thank you so much. Oh, is that a panda? Oh, it's a bird. Oh Giraffe. Seal. Oh, ooh. Whiskers. Oh, a lion. Thank you. Thank you, friends. Okay, so let's open them up. An Amazon package. This is from Maria. Maria. For James, when the time is right. Ooh, that sounds ominous. 
What is it? I think it's a little toilet. <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> I think gracious. It's a, is it? A little urinal? A little urinal, yeah. <laughs> so cute. With the tongue? <laughs> That's the silliest thing I've seen all night. That is. <laughs> Thanks, Maria. <laughs> and this, this paperly wrapped package is from a friend. Norma. From the UK. Yes. Oh, look at this little cute bandana. Cute little bib. Rags. Oh, wait, no, more bibs. Oh, these are cute. Sweet. Oh, I like plain Jane ones, too. Oh, short sleeve bodysuits. I love the plain ones and I like the dinosaur ones. Yeah. Oh, what is this? Is this for right now? Made with real fruit juice, Percy Pig. Yes. Candies? Oh, look at the inside of this box. It's so cute. Aww. She probably included that on purpose because she knew we'd appreciate it. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Vinyl prints? Oh, look at that. It's like a Hamilton. Cute. With Disney. Oh. 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 I like Mickey the best. I like Minnie the best. She's, Ooh, like, she's got like... extra sass in her hands. And that's like closer to the Hamilton clothes. Yeah. Thank you so much, thank Norma. You, thank you, thank you. That was so sweet of you. Wow. Well, Norma, we love you. And thank you so much for the package. Thank you. Um, she sent some other stuff in a letter that we read off camera. Thank you so much for all the wonderful gifts and the special sentimental ones and your letter. Um, had Sarah a little. Hardly talk. <laughs> I looked over and Sarah was, was misty eyed, definitely. Um, so thank you. We love you guys. Got home just in time for the debate. Baked milk and cookies for me and fudge brownie, Ben and Jerry's non dairy ice creams. Sarah, Peter. Sarah, Peter. Just got done watching the debate that was ridiculous. I knew it was going to be ridiculous, but it's important in America to be involved. And I also like to point out that if you watch this vlog, I posted this on our Facebook group. If you watch this vlog, if you follow us on Twitter or our Facebook group or anything like that, or watch us regularly, it should be no surprise to you who the Brookhards are voting for. We are voting for Joe Biden and why. Yes, I also have a King Dave shirt on, so we all know who I support. <laughs> you support no, Joe Biden. I, I Come support on. Joe Biden. I was just trying to lighten, lighten the it up. Mood. It's so difficult, um, it's uh, just like frustrating to watch, um, especially when the, the president did not denounce white supremacy no, he when told, he was asked to. He told the Proud Boys, and if you're not aware what the Proud Boys are, they are a very militant-esque, racist, white supremacist group that has caused a lot of trouble in previous protests that have turned destructive or, or hurtful. He didn't denounce them or white supremacy, he actually told them to stand back and stand by. So I've like you guys have seen me at peaceful protests in Orlando. If Proud Boys were there, and there's been ones where we've been told they're going to come, so we should leave because they incite violence. Yes. And our own president just said that they should stand by. If I don't want my president right. to tell Proud Boys to stand by, because guess what? If protests still happen and they're always going to happen, when James is here, Sarah and James will join me at peaceful protests because right. that's what we do peaceful protest. Right. I don't I want just, our president I telling like, white supremacists to meet us there. Right. I like the last thing that was said by Joe Biden, that he would be a president for all Americans. Not just Democrats, Democrats but also and Republicans. Republicans and all Americans. Um, and that we can stand together because the division is just... It's hurtful. It's hurtful. And what I appreciated the most in this whole debate was Joe Biden would look at the camera and be speaking to the American people, whereas Trump just tried to belittle the, the opponent on the stage with him. Yeah, that was exhausting. Not, not one point. It went by fast, though. It did, because I think we were freaking out the whole time. Because <laughs> it was nonsensical. Yeah, but anyway. it was like um, busy tidying and folding laundry, because I just like couldn't just sit and watch. I like would take my hoodie off, get hot, take it off, <laughs> get cold, put it back on. But, there's um, two more, right? It's, yes, and then there's the vice presidential next week, I think. It's frustrating, but it's important to be educated and to learn about the different topics um, because regardless of the outcome of the election we're going to have a leader in place that as American citizens we're going to want to know what their views are and what they're going to try to do with our country yes right yes so I mean and we register and vote you know we respect the presidency itself um, but it's also okay to not respect your president 
I got really quick, and then we'll cut this long clip. I had a leader when I was at Disney who was part of the military, and she told us a story that you, when you're in the military, you can't, um, you can't disrespect somebody of a higher rank than you. And what she t- was taught was if you ever have an issue with somebody like a leader of yours or a higher rank person than you, and you don't like them or you don't respect them or you don't agree with them, you never say... Like, it's, like, you have to acknowledge their presence a lot of time in conversation. So what you do is you, with uh, with respect to the position. So, like, if I ever met Donald Trump, I wouldn't welcome him and shake him hand as Donald Trump. I would say with respect to the office of the presidency. Because I do respect the office of the presidency. I don't respect the man Donald you Trump. You guys know where I mean, American... We have <laughs> the Constitution <laughs> right Literally above us. Above us like, <laughs> as American as it gets. But that is also another important thing about... America is standing up for what you believe in and um, and I fixing wrongs. Right, that's fixing why we have amendments and, of our constitution. And that's yeah, exactly. And that's why America is what America is was a revolution against you know the oppressor. So this is the Burkhart Project. And if you don't like to see us at home getting James's nursery ready, I'm sorry. If you don't like us talking about this, then don't like us. You can't have us when we're at the theme parks or getting ready for games without having us when we're at Black Lives Matter protests or anti-fascist protests or watching debates about American politics. Right, and, you know, putting our, this is our channel, we're going to put how we feel out there, and we appreciate you guys always. This is the kind of sweethearted lovingness that everybody needs this vlog to come to an end at. Sarah's going to read the message in a minute, but I have referenced earlier that our friend Norma sent us um, this cute card that has a very meaningful message on it, so you get two messages tonight, but this one's a little long. It's called A Smile. A smile costs nothing but gives much. It enriches these who receive without making poor those who give. It takes but a moment, but a memory of it sometimes lasts forever. None is so rich or mighty that he can get along without it, and none is so poor but that he can be made rich by it. A smile creates happiness in the home, fosters goodwill in business, and is the countersign of friendship. It brings rest to the weary, cheer to the disencouraged, discouraged, sunshine to the sad, and it is nature's best antidote for trouble. Yet it cannot be bought, begged, borrowed, or stolen, for it is something that is of no value to anyone until it is given away. Some people are too tired to give you one. Some people are too tired to give you a smile. Give them one of yours, as none needs a smile as much as he who has no more to give. I like that. So smile, smile often, and smile at everybody. And now for the daily message. Empty pockets never held anyone back. Only empty heads and empty hearts can do that. Norman Vincent Peale. Have you ever seen a cuter puppy in the whole world? This is our bouquet from our wedding. This is the ultrasound of Sweet Pea, who we lost almost a year ago around this time. I know. But we love Sweet Pea. <laughs> Me too. I just wasn't expecting you to talk about it. <laughs> and obviously, like, we have talked about that. We're the anniversary yeah. is coming up. Uh, I just wasn't expecting you to say it. <laughs> it's sad, but it's happy at the same time because we talk about Sweepy all the time. Yeah. Sweepy's always with us. Yeah, yeah. We're so lucky that we have James and Sweepy's watching over us. I want to talk to James about Sweepy all the time. Yes. Anyway, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.